No, well, no, no. Answer you, this not question. Named a Answer this crime. question. No, you what answered. did the Bidens do? What business were they in? Why well, did they get can I, can I millions that? and millions of dollars? Well, no, I, I would like can to I ask you a question. No, you start. What okay. did the Bidens do? The, the Bi I don't know what who you're talking about. What business were they in? Well, what Biden, what business? Now, Hunter Biden, you may want to discuss what his business was and whether he was equipped to be part of an investment firm to provide services based on his experience. But that has nothing to do with their, your jurisdiction or the impeachment investigation because you cannot link any of his business dealings a, to any foreign government, which he was never paid by, unlike Donald Trump's and Donald Trump's family, or B, to the President of the United States. And that's why your impeachment investigation is a spectacular failure. One of our colleagues chided uh, our side of the aisle for raising Donald Trump's name. I think that was presumably directed at Representative Norton, who discussed the millions of dollars that Donald Trump uh, pocketed in unlawful foreign government emoluments from the Chinese government and from the state-owned ICBC bank while he was president. Uh, is corruption in America irrelevant to our ability to withstand foreign propaganda by authoritarian regimes like China and Russia? Of course it's not irrelevant. It's very relevant. The way that any kind of political warfare proceeds is by these sorts of connections. A message becomes more plausible because a person is a bit more corrupt. A person is a bit more corrupt. A message becomes a bit more plausible. Anyone who is serious about political warfare would be very attentive to these underlying financial issues, of course. Um, but one of our colleagues uh, mentioned an effort that is underway um, to stop U.S. government agencies from blowing the whistle on Chinese and Russian propaganda on social media. There are some people who say that it violates the First Amendment if our agencies say there's Chinese propaganda uh, on your website, there's Russian propaganda on your website. What, what do you think about that? Do you think that in a free society, the government should be able at least to alert the social media or private internet service providers about the existence of foreign government propaganda uh, on their vehicles? Colleagues in different ways have already raised the point that, it's, that, that, that TikTok is not the only problem. The problem is the way that social media is designed as such. Democracies tend to work better when institutions are set up in such a way that factuality has an advantage over propaganda. Unfortunately, social media is set up in a different way. It gives an advantage, a financial advantage for advertisers to attention seeking and therefore to shocking propaganda. We know that this can be mediated because when it has been, when attempts have been made either by corporations themselves in cooperation or by the government, we have been able to dramatically reduce to reduce hostile state sponsored propaganda. What we face now in 2024 is a major corporation, Twitter, which has chosen not to police itself even as much as the other platforms do. And therefore, we face a situation in which states are taking advantage of this sort of chaos. Hostile actors take advantage of this chaos to change the information environment. This is par excellence an example of psychological warfare, and it would be foolish if the United States government did not allow itself to draw attention to it. I wonder if you can help us figure out where we've come as a committee, Professor Snyder. About a year ago, our GOP colleagues began heralding an FBI form FD-1023 that recorded allegations that President Biden acted corruptly in Ukraine uh, and tried to promote these as credible allegations. Um, it turned out that these were lies and the person who was promoting them has been has been indicted for lying to the FBI and constructing a false record. It turns out that uh, he was uh, the, uh, up to his neck in connections to Russian foreign agents, and yet our colleagues at various points called this a, a smoking gun, said it showed proof that the Bidens took bribes and so on. Um, Chairman uh, Jason Smith, for example, said this was a smoking gun and it was the definitive proof that uh, that the Bidens took bribes. Um, it's obviously been dropped, and yet this was the genesis of our investigation. Um, how do we that's, understand... That's just simply not true, but go ahead. I, I'll, I'll yield to the chairman if you no, want to no, take some more no, time. No, no, no. Well, well you, you can use are your you time... Are saying to... the bank statements are Russian disinformation, that the Bidens took $9,000 from Oh, China? I agree you've been talking about Tony bank Bob statements Lansky for more than a year, a... but they don't show anything other than there was no crime. 
So well, it's okay. It's okay show? for, as Tony Bobulinski said, for China to bribe Joe Biden's family with nine million dollars. But that's the lie that's been discredited. I mean, well, where is your impeachment investigation? If Donald, if Joe Biden took a nine million dollar bribe from China, why aren't you impeaching him for that? Well, who, who says we're not? Well. I, I, can, I can invite Mr. Moskowitz to come back in. Do you want to move for impeachment today? Because I thought that that was your main agenda item. You said it was the paramount priority of the committee. No, the, this is a, a hearing on China, and you all have a, an obsession with Russia and Trump. It, it's disturbing. We can talk you about China therapy. and Trump or Russia you all and Trump. Need, He's you got need a, therapy, Mr. Raskin. No, no, you, you need therapy. You're the one who's involved with the deranged politician, not me, okay? I, I've divorced myself from Donald Trump a long time ago. You're the one who needs to disentangle from that situation. And, and I will tell you this. If you believe that it would have been illegal for Joe Biden to take $5 million from Ukraine, it certainly would have been. What do you think about Donald Trump taking more than $5 million from the Chinese government while he was president? Well, we, we know that Donald Trump had a legitimate business that he talked about and he campaigned the on. The legitimate business what, was what the White is, House. What he business, sold the White House. What, oh, give me a break. He, he what, what, business was the Bi what business were the Bidens in? Well, what we, business did Joe Biden's family own? What business were they in? Did they have hotels? Did they have wait. a social media company? Did they have golf courses? Did they have casinos? Did they have office Mr. buildings? Mr. Chairman. What business? Did they well, have an energy Mr. Company? Chairman, we have spent tens of millions of dollars you pursuing we have, Joe Biden, not and you have not true. identified that a single a crime. You are really? lying. That really? is a lie. We have not spent $10 million. Hey, how much have you spent? We have we haven't spent hardly anything. Oh, it's been for free. Okay. All right. Well, in any event, it's, it, well, hey, you know what? Then we get what we just, paid for because you got nothing. That you is, got nothing no, on Joe well, Biden. No, no, no. Answer you, this you've question. Not named answer a single this crime. question. No, you what did the Bidens do? What business were they in? Why but did they get can I, can I millions answer that? and millions of dollars? Well, no, I, I would like can to I ask you a question. No, because, you start. What okay, did the Bidens do? The, the Bi I don't know what who you're talking about. What business were they in? What, Biden, what business are, is the Comers what? in? You're talking about lots of people. There's lots of people in the family. I'm a farmer. Your I have land. I Your impeachment land. investigation I must identify a high Bidens crime do? and misdemeanor. What did they I, do? I'll tell you what Joe Biden did. He was a senator of the United States. Then he wrote a book, and he said he made the most money he ever made in his life, millions of dollars on his book, and he gave a million dollars That's what to his charity. family did. That's, that's, what what he, hun that's why Ukraine, uh, Kazakhstan, Romania, China, Russia, that's why they paid the Biden family money because of Joe None Biden. None of those what? governments paid anyone any money. So, somebody needs therapy here, but it's nobody on our side of the uh, aisle, okay? Uh, because enough. No, I, the honestly, China hearing. Back you, to the China you, you had your chance. Order, I, I order. would like my time restored. Uh, well, well, no, your time was I would expired. Like you, no, you interrupted me. Oh, I want no, my time you restored. you had your time. You went above, and I let Miss Thornton go a minute. You know what? Uh, here, uh, sit down, everybody. Come back. This is about China. We asked a simple question. No, Miss Presley, you're out of order. Sit down. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. No. Mr. We, Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Can I make a motion that we um, we take a break for five minutes? We're going to keep going. Uh, we'll let the record show that Mr. Raskins could not answer the question. I, uh, what first did of all, Biden let, do let, to let, receive the money? Let, let me start with this. Uh, My last name is Raskin. Okay, we've sat next to each other for more than a year. You don't have to add the S. Number two, I would like my time restored. And number three, no, you have, you have not identified a single order. crime. No. Well, what is the crime that you want to impeach Joe Biden for and keep this nonsense going? Well, Why? Well, well, what is the crime? Tell America right now. You well, you're, you're about time. to find out. What very is the soon. crime? You're about to find out. Name very it. Chair we inhabit a Mr. propaganda from experiment. Arizona. Thank, thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I and. Uh,